Well, good morning. Let's take this rock here. You can see all the calcite through it. And see what little gems are hidden inside. What crystals we can extract. Put it in there. We'll be using muriatic acid. Um, this is the sort of crystal I'm hoping to find. And to be in matrix so it stays as a cluster. So, let's give it a go. This is just water because I'll use a diluted amount, probably 50-50. So let's go. Bubble, bubble, tail in trouble. Oh. And here's another rock. There was the outside when it was harvested. There's what the inside, the whole shelf of calcite. Hopefully crystals down in it. Let's give this one a bath too. There we go. Add water. And muriatic acid. Nice. Well, the bubbling is done, and uh, I've removed the acid and, and just rinsed these things off in clean water. So let's see what we've got. Some very fragile points on there. Still a good chunk of calcite left, but some very interesting features. I'm in the sunlight, you guys, eh? Yeah. that? What a rock. Look at those crystals in there. Almost like a porcupine. Let me do it from this side. I'll just spin it around. Actually, maybe better off just to hold it. See that? Cool. Uh, actually, while I'm here, there's a pretty neat piece. in there. That one, same sort of look. That's more the form of a, a Richterite. And if they're stacked up like that, it's like a Richterite cluster. Very neat, very neat. And then you hold something like that in the sun. Uh, it's not transparent. But some of these are Not quite trend. Yeah. Getting there, getting there. Oh, here we go. Look at this one. See that? And I'll put it right up the sun. Where are you? There you are. See that? Very cool. Very cool. More of a greeny one. Because this is asbestos-based product, or a sulfide, I think you're always smart to wash your hands after dealing with it. Look at that crystal there. See the sun? And then down in the leftovers, 
Very neat stuff. Pretty interesting rocks. Okay, so in this one, there's more of that porcupine look, all the little crystals sticking out. So that's what was inside, but right there, see that, those are clear crystals. That is pretty nice. And this is what happens when sometimes the calcite's dissolved. Uh, if I do it too much, the individual crystals just fall off. That's all right. And then, what do we got here? Neat. So. Uh, I stir it, it gets silted. Yeah, hope you liked it. I sure had fun. Well, here's a rock that I would like to show you as kind of a bonus feature. What we have is Richterite, actinolite, tremolite, there's a big tremolite crystal up in there, another one in there, uh, associated with calcite, um, it's a beast of a rock. Flip it over a bit. Here's the rock flipped over. Let me get out of the sun. So, a little bit of root fiber on there that'll come off. But just a mass of crystals in calcite on this side. For perspective, oops. There's a rock hammer. Cool, eh? Well, thank you for watching.